today we are going to talk about data sets in sigma and how we can create a data set in sigma so basically data sets in sigma are the data modeling platform we can edit transform our data in sigma in our data sets and then further we can use these data sets as the source of data for any visualization so let's begin first we'll log in into sigma to create a new data set we can there are multiple methods like we can upload a csv file directly into sigma or we can use our snowflake tables to create this data sets or we can query our snowflake data using sql queries to create this data set today we'll create a data set using a csv file that is already stored in my uh, uh, in my desktop so let's begin first we will click into this create new tab and from here we will <coughs> select this data set tab so you can like see here it is written that model your data into reusable building blocks so basically we can use these data sets again and again to create any any visualization in our workbooks so we'll click on this data set now here are multiple options from where we can create a data set like we can use a table we can use a already created data set to create a new data set also we can write a sql query to create a data set or we can use a csv file also so i'm going to create a data set using a csv so i'll select a csv file from my local system so i'm using this stat channel country file i'll open this so here i can see that all my columns of this table are here so i can choose the columns which i want to bring into sigma from here i can select or unselect them then from here i can see this drop down so from this drop down i can select the data type of this column or i can change the data type of this column so let's get started from here so now sigma is uh, converting my csv file into a data set so this is the overview of this data set tab or data set page so this is the overview of my uh, data table that i have uh, uploaded into the sigma and now in this column tab there are all the columns of this data sets and their uh, type format also we can add any description or any summary of that column so that it is easy to understand for some other person like what this column contains and also this visibility there are three options like include available and restricted so if i set it at include so when i bring this data set or when i create a workbook using the data set so I, if i select included then this column will be there in the workbook and if i select the second option available then i have an option to 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 see or to not to see this uh, column in the uh, in the workbook and the restricted one is that the column is there in the data set but you are not able to see it in your workbook when you create a workbook using this data set also we'll talk about this links and lineage later now worksheet is the is the tab of this data set where we can edit or transform our data like we can apply filters to our data or we can group this data uh, to any atomic level now you can see a drop down here so here is the multiple options that we can perform in our data sets in this column so like we'll talk about this like we can add any new column we can rename these columns also we can create a duplicate of this column we can we can hide we can also hide these columns like the column which i don't want to see in this my data set i can hide these columns or also i can apply like filters like if i want to hide null values so i can apply these filters like add filters include value so there are multiple types of filters so include value exclude value suppose i i don't want to see null values in my data in this column so i can use this filter type to be exclude value type and i can select this null so now the null value 
will be not available for this column also we can we can also like replace text of the columns so basically from this replace text column you need to find and replace method is there like if i want to change the name of this seo as organic search and i just want to update this current column so this is like where the seo in the place of seo there is organic search now so this is how the data set works we can edit our tables here so uh, it's done for this video next we will talk about how we can join two data sets in sigma and create a new data set thank you so much